Hey, good morning. Um, welcome back to another fly time video with us here at Tuck Fly Shop. Um, my name's Sam, and as always, this is all brought to us by the, the man behind the camera, Mr. Justin, the, uh, with the best shoe game in Western North Carolina. With delayed harvest approaching, we're filming this, what's this, September 28th, 27th? Seven. So in a couple weeks, a lot of our delayed harvest rivers will be full of big dumb trout. Um, so in honor of that, we're going to tie up the mop fly here. Um, I'm just going to snug up my bead with my thread here. This is a pretty easy fly and it is dirty. Tied by our friend Jim Estes originally. Um, this thing plays great for, you know, dumb stock fish that may not know what it is, but in places with large free living caddis populations or place with a lot of crane flies, um, this thing gets the job done. So I've already kind of messed this up here. What we want to do on this little, on this little piece of chenille, I'm going to try to strip just a touch of it to expose our core. We want to make sure we tie in on that core or else it's just going to slide right out like it did for me just then. Little tug test, we're good to go here. Um, something I always do with these, I'm gonna take me a little bit of CA glue. I'm gonna brush a light dab, that was a little too much, on, a, on the hook shank. Um, keeping my thread pretty pretty close to the, to the bead. Um, and then here I'm just gonna tease this mop material around the hook shank best I can, kinda cover that up. Um, so we could just end that here. Um, what I like to do is I'm going to do a little dubbing collar. This is just a, a basic hairline hair's ear dub. Um, less is more, so I'm going to pick some of this out. Take my bobbin. You don't have to split the thread here. You could just dub it on regular. But... I like the little buggy look that this is going to give us. Every, everybody's going to stick out and splay and go all over. So once I insert that into the thread, give the old bobbin a spin, and just let this thing do its work. Once I see it's spun enough, I'll take my fingers and just tease upward on that thread. Um, we'll wrap everything back up to the top here. Give it the old whip finish. And now she ready to play. Thanks for keeping up with us, y'all. Thanks for joining us on a quick video this morning. Um, as always, we'd love to see you in one of our three brick and mortar locations in Waynesville, uh, Bryson City and Silva. Um, if you're not around here and still want to shop with us, come visit me at www.flyshopusa.com. Thank y'all.